everyone. Welcome back to the channel. I hope you're doing well this afternoon. Thanks for being here. Let us tap right in see what it is that spirit would like to share with us this afternoon <sighs> collective energy please spirit collective energy collective energy please spirit collective energy Three of them popped out. Seven of Wands in the Upright. Challenge, competition. Alrighty then, so the truth is out. And a light is being shined on everything regarding this challenge, regarding this competition. Regarding your need to stand up for yourself. Challenged by Knight of Wands, charming, unpredictable. You got folks wanting to come in, get in a love relationship in the subconscious. We've got the lovers reversed. Detachment, misalignment of values. In the recent past, In the recent past, we've got um, the Seven of Swords in the upright. Betrayal, theft, dishonesty, getting away with something um, fraud. And the moon reversed. The illusion is broken. What was hidden? is now seen. Intentions and expectations. Five of Wands. Theft. Abuse of relationships. Conflict. Upheaval. So the um, illusion is broken. The truth is out. Um, it's, it's all about conflict. It doesn't have anything to do. This competition doesn't have anything to do with anything other than conflict and theft. It, it's not a competition. It's, it's outright theft and brutalization. There's no competition to it. It's attacking people who aren't even aware that they're even in a game. Easy prey, so to speak. who want to love and don't realize that the ones that are coming forth playing at love are about conflict and abusive relationships. Page of Cups, <laughs> another one, new love. Knight of Wands, Page of Cups, the lens is being looked through, the Empress reversed, Overwhelmed, codependent, lack of focus, unfaithful. In the environment, 
page of swords. <laughs> Negotiations, contracts. Hopes and fears. Justice. The outcome. Six of Swords, relationship ending, moving on to calmer waters. On the bottom of the deck, we've got Six of Wands, victory. Moving on to calmer waters, you won. And you're coming into your reward. You've got public recognition. And a Knight of Swords, too, defending their beliefs regarding love unions, relationships, and marriages. This is the completion of a cycle with the world card here. A celebration of life and you've got a queen of pentacles which is a, like a, a supportive mother or a protectrix, protectress or a um, guardian of some sort. talking baby talking on doing all kinds of talking yes you are baby yes my love oh, yeah all right collective energy please stay collective energy Collective energy, please, spirit. Collective energy. Collective energy, please, spirit. Collective energy. Family room. Challenge, competition, family room. Holding your own, standing up for yourself. Mental clarity. The truth is out. There's a, a new beginning. Something's getting cut out. The light is being shined on it. Wisdom and truth is here. Challenges and competition. Mental clarity. The truth is here. A light is being shined on it. Something about a family room. The challenge is this knight of wands. Fearless, sexy, unpredictable, wanting to come in. <laughs> wanting to come in and get on a pathway doing stuff in a family room the lover is reversed they made bad choices they are getting detached there is disharmony in relationships in the home somebody might be having um they might be fighting with their spouse or with their family in a family room. There's indecision, misalignment of values. In the recent past, we've got the seven of swords, betrayal, deception, theft, dishonesty, getting away with something tricky. The illusion is busted though. It's all seen, it's all out in the open. false person intentions and expectations is more conflict a five of swords you got the seven of swords and a five of swords here winning at all costs theft abusive relationships bullying sneaky marriage yeah they wanted to bring torment to someone who actually marries for love <laughs> they're attracted to um 
people who improve their life, but they don't improve other people's lives. They bring conflict, upheaval, and trickery, lies and deceit, infidelity. New love, please, new love. Mm-hmm, yeah. Dreamer. Dreamer. Mature man. Mature man dreaming about new love. We got the Empress here um, in the reverse. Lack of focus, selfish, impatient, codependent, overwhelmed with anxiety, unfaithful, no loyalty, no loyalty. Wow. So she, and a thief, and a thief. So Empress reversed is a thief, no loyalty. And um, also what's here is the main female with a courtship and a child. So there could be an actual child in the future of this person, or it could be that she's innocent of something. This thief Empress is jealous and um, so being selfish and overwhelmed by this main female. Page of Swords, negotiations and contracts in the environment. Concern, there's a community that's concerned. Huh. Justice is being served. The law of cause and effect. Judication. Huh. Six of Swords, this relationship is ending, um, moving on, leaving it behind, releasing the baggage. Releasing the baggage. Journey in the reverse. So somebody's not going on a journey. You're going on a journey or somebody's going on a journey and somebody else isn't. So it's like there's a separation and an imprisonment. Whoever's not going on the journey is, is, is suffering a change and getting imprisoned. The high honor folk are going somewhere in a sky ship on the distant horizons. It could be that rapture or whatever. And they're in despair over this because you're expecting a new job. It's in the courts right now. You're a gift coming into a love relationship, and this is over. Privileged lady, wealthy man coming together. He's thinking about her. Collective energy, please, spirit. Collective energy. Collective energy, please, spirit. Collective energy. So, yes, challenge and competition. You have been holding your own, maintaining control, standing up for yourself. You've got the Ace of Swords. You are wielding the truth. You are in the truth. There's mental clarity. You have a sharp mind. You know exactly what's going on with this. The light is here with the hermit. So you have introspection and you have um, the external uh, perceptions of what is happening here. And you've got the truth. So you know the truth. You know the truth. There's st stuff going on in a family room. Somebody's having tea in a family room. There's conversation about this in a family room. They're blaming. Somebody in the family room is blaming you and your happiness and all this truth coming out for their well-being. So it's your fault because you're happy and you know the truth. You're challenged by a fearless, sexy, unpredictable knight of wands. And this person is challenged because they want to be on your pathway. They want to get on your pathway. They're, they're, you, they feel you are responsible for their well-being and they want to get on your pathway.
They want you to improve their world, their life. They could be challenged by courage or they're challenged by your courage in this challenge and competition. You stood up for yourself. You maintained control. You held your own. You know the truth and you're shining a light on it. You're introspecting. You're looking outside of self and you're seeing exactly what's going on. You are happy. You are aware that being happy means you're on the right path. And whatever's going on in this family room, they're blaming you for their own, for the responsibility of their well-being. They're challenged by your courage. You're happy and you're courageous and you know the truth and they're challenged by that because your pathway is like right open. You have transformed along with a whole bunch of other friends. You're there flying along. You're all little little butterflies now and this knight of wands is like hold up because he says my well-being is your responsibility and i need to get in on that you're courageous so he you're courageous and they they want to get on your pathway but in the subconscious we have the lovers reversed it's and 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 how so there's no lover in the house maybe they're targeting somebody who has no lover in the house or, um, yeah, there's no lover in the house. Somebody may have a fear of commitment. Somebody may have made bad choices. There's a misalignment of values. Nobody wants this person in their house. <laughs> ah! This person is like, I don't want you in my house. Denial. <laughs> No, N-O, capital N-O. Imbalance, why would you want to invite that into your home? That's silly. Yeah, it's all in the imagination. It's a fantasy, freaking fantasy. They wanna, they wanna bring competition. <laughs> twice they want to they they want to get a marriage their intention is to get a marriage and and make it an abusive relationship in the recent past they've got the seven of swords theft bullying getting away with tricky trickery committing fraud the illusion is busted the illusion is seen the truth is out with this ace of swords they're a false person they're lying and they just want conflict in this relationship. Relationship. It's not about a partnership. It's about you improving my life. And I'm going to kick your ass if you don't do what I say. And it's like, get out of here. What are you adding? What kind of value are you adding? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Except disruption and chaos in a world that doesn't even require its presence. So no. False person. Trying to get away with something. Adversity. They want to bring adversity, but it came out in the reverse. They're not able to bring adversity to you. They're trying to, but the illusion is out. You see that they're a false person. They're not able to bring adversity to you. Their intention and expectation was to gain a marriage and to have an abusive relationship. Take you for everything you got and um, have an abusive relationship, but you're too balanced for that. This mature man wants a new love. He's a dreamer. He's coming in with his little cup. And he's like, oh, hey. <clears throat> he could be coming in an um, empress reversed energy. He's a thief. Whoever it is, it's there. he's a thief. So he's coming in an empress reversed energy. So he's going to come soft, you know. But it's obviously, um, yeah, it's not honest. So he's coming, this thief is coming in an empress reversed energy. This mature man, thief, is coming with his little page of cups. <laughs> in a queen of, in an empress energy. He's coming up because he wants a courtship with an innocent main female.
What a rat. S freaking sewer rats. Dressing up in three-piece suits, man. Pretending that they don't smell. Page of Swords, you got, yeah, he wants to know, this community is very concerned over the negotiations and contracts that are happening right now. They're spying on these, um, on these contracts, on what's happening here. They see that they're very abundant. They're concerned. This whole community. Justice is being served. and We got justice and judication here, right next to each other. This community is concerned about the abundance. They're in regret. Purpose. I know what I'm here to do. Purpose. The um, justice system is looking at the purpose. What's your purpose? What's your intention? What's your ex expectation? Well, here it is. Right here. And with this thief card here and this empress reversed, yeah, we got an overwhelmed, anxiety-ridden, selfish, codependent, impatient thief who's lying through their teeth trying to hook up with this main female. <clears throat> Who's moving on to calmer waters? This relationship is ending. And this um, mature man does not get to go on the journey with this main female. And he's not having, he's not in gratitude about it. He has, he has no, he has no gratitude about anything. He's not thankful for anything. Service. I feel good when I can help others. Service. It could be that the service that they offered was death and they um, are seeking forgiveness. Yeah, they tried. That's what they were trying to do. That's their service. Hook up, get a marriage, and then offer that service because they don't believe in love. So they do whatever's necessary to destroy it. They, they're they seeking forgiveness. Um, patience, except that everything happens in divine order. Discipline is being um, delivered right now in the justice system. And I say that because, um, because the discipline card is here and they're worried and they're envious and they're all, they're all up in their pride. You persevered. And you trust your inner voice. They have to accept the things they cannot change. Collective energy, please, spirit. Collective energy. Collective energy, please, spirit. Collective energy. Collective energy, please, spirit. Collective energy. Time. It's too late to take any action. Challenged. <clears throat> by a knight of wands who is <clears throat> blaming you for their well-being they feel unappreciated they want to get on your pathway they're challenged by your courage this wasn't supposed to go down like this 
it was all in their imagination. There's disharmony, a misalignment of values. There is no um, relationship here in the house. There is no union in the house. No. Like, like he, this person wanted to move in, but no. There's an understanding. I see your side of the story. <laughs> You're a false person. The illusion is busted wide open. Everything is seen. Everything is known. You were trying to get away with something. You were committing fraud against love, against marriage. All for money. Crapped all over families and children and stability and foundations and security and reliability and responsibility and all of the adult things that go with running things smoothly no just decided to go have a field day blaming others for their responsibility for their well-being messing up people's balance you know but the problem here is is that you stayed in balance their intention was to gain a marriage, a soul tie, and to bring, and to make it an abusive relationship. That was their intention and expectation, but you maintained balance. They weren't able to bring you adversity. It came out in the reverse. You understood that what was happening. They're a false person. The illusion is busted. You saw right through it. There's a mature man here in, in the near future, and he's he's coming as um, an empress reversed energy, seeking forgiveness. He wants forgiveness, but he, but he also wants love, possibilities. Forgive me. Let's let's have a love union, but he's in an empress reversed energy. He's codependent. He doesn't have any creativity. He's got a creative block. He's full of anxiety. He's unfaithful. He's overwhelmed. He's indecisive. He lacks focus. He, he's all about inaction. He won't be supportive or help. Um, he's codependent. You will have to baby him like he's a child because he doesn't know how to take care of himself. He wants to come in and, and have a child with this main female. He wants a courtship with her, get her pregnant. Unexpected outcome. Negotiations and contracts have this community concerned. They're running. They want to run away. Justice, adjudication, purpose. I know what I am here to do. Neglected, dishonest. So what was the purpose then? If everybody was neglected and you were lying about everything, then what was your purpose? Tell the judge what your purpose was. What did you contribute to the world? Damage. Those who did not cause damage, those who were not playing that game, they're moving on to calmer waters with the Six of Swords. Those who did not cause damage, playing these stupid little games, get to move on. That They're moving away from the people who do um, bring, bring this kind of crap to, to relationships, to marriages. And you're leaving that crap behind. They don't get to go where you're going. They don't have any gratitude or thankfulness within them. They're full of habits. And they feel overwhelmed. They're like, wait, we have unfinished business. And it's like people are gossiping about this. They could be holding something back. They feel unsatisfied. They made mistakes. They made mistakes with somebody who was irreplaceable and loved themselves and was passionate. And they're being disconnected and they, and they sabotaged it. 
they regret whatever disagreement that they had and they feel broken. It's like, whatever, man. Yeah, because you're moving on. That You're moving on to a new chapter and you're having a family. So yeah, whatever this was, isn't anymore. They don't get to go where you're going. They don't have any gratitude within themselves. They're just dishonest thieves. Selfish. Huh. Who knew? You know, everybody, it used to be like everybody would say, well, they steal, they stole all that. How do they, why is it that they get this nice life and I'm just struggling and I'm doing everything okay and anytime that I accidentally do something bad, I get busted and then I'm in trouble and, I caught, and it's like, yeah, well, I don't know why some people get away with it and other people don't. I think it's because um, some of us are deeply cherished and loved. And if you don't have a heart or a spirit or um, the mind of a criminal, you're gonna be you're gonna be kicked every time every time you get weak and accidentally find yourself drifting. Because the Most High isn't going to let you go that easy. Be grateful you got busted when everybody else got away with it. it means you're special. If not to anybody else, then to your higher self. Take it as it resonates, however it works with you. Collective energy, please, spirit. Collective energy. Collective energy, please, spirit. Collective energy. Collective energy. Collective energy. Collective energy, spirit. Collective energy, collective energy, spirit. Okay, so you're praying. You have a relationship with, and this is, um, so there are, you know what this is too? There's multiple hands here. You're not alone. Somebody's helping you in your prayers. Somebody's actually guiding you with, um, your movements, your actions, your contributions. There is an assistant there guiding you to make sure that your content hits the mark. And because of that, somebody's not okay. They're blaming you for, for their responsibility. They're having a conversation in a family room. They're doing something in a family room. They feel unappreciated. You're too courageous. They want to try to fearlessly, unpredictably come in and be sexy, trying to hook in and, and get on your pathway. They're in a nightmare. That's their strategy to try to, what, offload this curse or offload this mental disturbance. They're bound to their commitments and they need to attach to you so that they can offload it onto you, basically. They're, they're in confinement, basically. They're in a mental prison. So they need you 
to have a family so that he can distribute that nightmare and persevere. That's his goal because they're frightened. They want it to end. He feels like He feels like this is an inevitable end. But getting a love re a relationship with you is um, all up in the imagination. There's a misalignment of values regarding the house. Now this house could mean the temple, the body, like this person could have, um, where did we saw that? We saw habits. So um, this person could have addictions and habits that don't sit well with, um, with, your, with your values. They may treat their temple in a way that doesn't, um, that isn't in alignment with your desire for your own self. And why would you want to invite that into your life? And it could be that it's so bad that they are suffering like ill health. Fate, fate, the loss of real estate, the loss of this house. Whoever this is, they're not getting a love relationship with you and they're losing their house. Now, I don't know, like again, it could be a house of wood or a house of flesh. I don't know. But they, again, the real estate is out here, but so is partnership in the reverse. And then we got the lover's card out here in the reverse. So whoever this is, it's fate. They don't, they don't, uh, they don't get the house. They might be losing a house. They're in a nightmare. They're a false person. The illusion is out. You can see very clearly what it was that was going on. Um, they're betraying, they're, they're, there was betrayal. They were acting strategically. It was premeditated. You understand very well that they were trying to bring adversity and it didn't work. It didn't work. They're feeling awkward because you see them, you know what they did and you know what they're doing. They go, they go to find somebody who's balanced and then they try to get a marriage, a soul tie with them. And then they cause an abusive um, situation. And then they drain the happiness, the, the energy of happiness, the energy of love from it. And they leave it in a state of misery, taking all that love and then disappearing. Or whatever they do. I don't know. So you got this mature man here asking for forgiveness. He wants a new love. He's dreaming about new love. He wants to make a, an arrangement. He's ready. He's trying to say, I'm ready for this. But, but it, he's coming in an empress reversed energy. He's selfish. He's impatient. He's codependent. He's overwhelmed. He's anxiety ridden he's unfaithful he's a thief and he's lying through his teeth he wants to have a child and a courtship with this main female but he's an extreme liar he's a, he's cursed and he wants to offload the curse through a ritual to somebody who makes a promise he's going through withdrawals of a gift that he took bribes to indulge in, but he's being stopped. You're having sweet dreams. You're a high value person. They're stressed out because you're calm and this is over. It's ending. They're frightened. You're coming into your goals. <clears throat> Apology. Yeah, so they're coming in. They want to apologize. They want to uh, um, get forgiveness. They're lying through their teeth. They're, they're not faithful. They're codependent, overwhelmed, anxiety ridden because they don't, they could, it could be that they don't have a place to live. It could be that they're sick with all of this, um, 
mental illness and they need to offload this curse onto this person. So they need to get a soul tie so that they can force this person to pay the debt. They're running. There's a whole community that's concerned regarding um, these contracts, regarding whatever they bound themselves to. Yeah, this whole community is disturbed. And they're seeking a main female to offload this disturbance onto. They want to run away. Yeah, they're targeting this person. They want to get a marriage and a soul tie so that they can offload all of this mental disturbance. And it isn't just this mature man. It's a whole community of dishonest, neglectful people whose purpose was to destroy love. They're in the justice system right now under adjudication. The law of cause and effect is in order. They're in a nightmare. They're in a nightmare for strategizing, for mind reading. Oh, for mind reading. For playing with people's minds and causing nightmares. They're, they're under adjudication in the justice system. Those who have not caused damage such as this are moving on to calmer waters and they're releasing that baggage. They don't have to deal with this anymore. Whoever this is, they don't get to go on the journey with you. They don't have any gratitude in them. They're not thankful for anything. They want to dominate people. They're a puppet master. Dictatorship. They don't get to go. They'll have to live and learn. I guess maybe they have to, there's an idea. Somebody's got a great idea. Live and learn, somebody's got a great idea. There's um, danger. I guess they're going to have to live and learn um, through danger. While you, sweetheart, get to network with your friends and go into a situation where care is finally going to be shown to you. Those people who are stuck in their pride, they're facing homelessness. They're furious about it. It's the schedule. It's time. They're protesting. They're, they're protesting. These mask wearers are protesting being separated, being cut off. <laughs> they're hesitating. They don't know what to do. They're fighting with each other. They're stuck in their imagination about illness, about being sick, about robbery. That's the mindset. And you're just relaxed. You're relaxed. Taking care of yourself. Collective energy, please, spirit. Collective energy. Collective energy, please, spirit. Collective energy. There could be a misfortune happening right now. It's time. It's too late to take any action. The truth is out about this competition. The light is shining on it with this hermit here.
thought. Somebody's all up in their thoughts. Look at this. We got house in the reverse again. Real estate in the reverse. A house in the reverse. They were wanting to get with this um, person, this woman, this main female, to, to get a place to live. They wanted to hijack her life path. They wanted somebody to improve their life while they um, downgraded their supply. They wanted to downgrade the supply while benefiting from it. This is over. There's a death here. They feel unappreciated. They're challenged because you're courageous. They're challenged because they want to get on your pathway and they're suffering a death or an ending of some sort or it's over with you and you're just like, hey, I'm done. We got love here. It came out in the reverse. It's like there's no love here. There's no love here. Lovers in the reverse. Real estate in the reverse. It was all up in the imagination moving into this person's house. They were thinking about it. They thought that um, if they were fortune telling it, like what? They got a they got a fortune read that said that they were going to be able to move into this person's house and they were coming after this person as though their personal well-being was that other person's responsibility and they really came at it fighting for it. They're in despair. They're in despair over your fortune. They say, you have it. You should take care of me. It's like, why? I don't even know you. I don't even like you. Why? What do you have to offer besides conflict and trickery and fraud and infidelity and disease and, and a horrible atmosphere to be in, to dwell in? Why? That's just messenger. There's a message here. False persons getting a message. They weren't able to bring adversity to you. You understood what they were doing. They were blind. They're feeling awkward. They're feeling awkward. Their intention was to get a marriage, a soul tie, and to make it a, a, an abusive relationship where they would steal all the happiness, bully you. Fortune in the reverse. They don't get the fortune. They were targeting somebody who was in balance and they don't get it. They're seen for what they are. There's a mature man here seeking forgiveness. He wants new love. He's dreaming about it. He's like, he's prepared for it. He's like, he's ready for it. He's coming in. He thinks you're going to go for it. There's something in the mind. He could be like, mind reading telepathically linked somehow thinking checking out your vulnerabilities how susceptible are you to and and it's like a, it's an un, it's an unexpected outcome because this person thinks if they come in the empress reversed energy that um they'll be able to trick you into thinking that they're an honest and that they're actually whatever but they're they're anxiety ridden they're codependent and indecisive and overwhelmed they they can't focus they're lying. This thief is lying. When they say they're apologizing and seeking forgiveness, it's nothing but a lie to get in and, and dump this mental disturbance on you. That's it. They're being haunted. They need a contract with you so that you can pay the debt that they are shackled with. Thief. Yeah, thief. Thief came out here twice, man. A dishonest, apologetic thief, 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 thief. Yeah, they don't mean Jack, man. They're mentally disturbed. A whole community is concerned about, about your contracts, about your future. They want to run away. They want to latch on to your abundance. They want to run away from these mental disturbances, but they have to have a soul tie so that you can then be responsible for the death. So that you can pay the debt. They're false. It's false hope. They're giving you false hope. 
or they're giving somebody false hope or they have false hope it's false hope they're in a nightmare it's the law of cause and effect it's like you do this to others then this shall be done unto you and that's just the way that it's going it's the way that it's going you can't get out of karma these pleasure seekers are trying to get out of their karma They neglected you. They lied to you. Their purpose was to destroy you. They did it constantly. Strategizing to put you in a nightmare. Messing with your mental body. The hope is that they can continue to do that, but you're cutting it off. You're like, you see the truth. They're, you're, not, you're not accepting any adversity. You understand what they're doing. You're not, you're like, hey, look, I'm not here. I'm not here causing damage. And, and so you're moving on. You're like, look, I'm not taking part in that. I don't want any more of that. I'm not going to allow you to bring that. I'm not accepting these gifts. I'm not accepting any damage that you wish to inflict upon me. I'm just not going to take that. No, the big N-O. You don't get to come on the journey with me. You don't have a, a thankful heart. You you don't live life gratefully. And you're a puppet master, mastering, uh, dominator, dictator, wannabe. You know? So no. No. Conversation. In the reverse. There's no... They're not even going to talk about it. Not even going to talk about it. Nothing to talk about. In a letter, somebody might try to send a letter telling you how, how they need to be consoled, how badly they feel. Somebody's going to try to send you a letter because you won't talk to them. <laughs> so they're going to write you a letter. This merchant has his eye on a sweetheart. Yeah. Uh-huh. They may need to see a doctor. They're going to come forward and try to um, present themselves as a faithful friend. Maybe try to get you to go on a journey. They're sighing, this scholar, about your reunion. There's going to be a surprise, a big surprise. A big surprise. Some service. Some surprise service a lover is bringing prison. Cheerfulness and death. Uh, yeah, I'd probably just give up on that because it doesn't look like there is going to be any putting up with any nonsense. I just don't think there anybody's going to be willing to put up with any shenanigans. Well, that's what I got on this one, everybody. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.